Okay, so this is the video I just recorded. This is my editing program. And what I usually do is, Alfie, what I'm doing is I'm showing everybody how I create a custom thumbnail in YouTube. Sometimes I take a photo during the shoot, so then I have the actual photo that I can take and then turn that into my custom thumbnail. But when I don't, what I do in a pinch is I just play the video. And subscribe. Booyah. So th then I try to stop it where I'm not making like some crazy face. What? People are gonna subscribe. And you know what else people are gonna do? All right, let's see. I'm gonna get a little closer so I can just fine tune this a bit so I can really stop it where I need it to be. By the way, did you know if you hold down, it gives it, it zooms in for you and makes it a little easier. All right, so that's a, that's a pretty good spot. This is um, QuickTime. I'm just using QuickTime. So what I did was, what you're seeing in the background, by the way, that's Final Cut Pro. What I've done is I've already edited the videos. Good morning. <laughs> I've already edited all the video. I've already edited the video. And what I'm doing is I'm just playing it back on my computer so then I can do a screen grab of this. And in QuickTime, if you hold over the play, the play button right here, the play, the play uh, head, it, it zooms in and you can just move it at a slower pace as opposed to just dragging the, on the timeline down here. So, just holding my mouse down till I get that. And what I'm doing, I'm just kind of going slow till I, that's what I want. That's the shot I want. That's what I want my thumbnail to be. So great. So what I'm gonna do now is I have, oh, sorry guys, I lost my mouse. All right, there it is. In Evernote, and I'm gonna do a screen grab. What I'm gonna do is just screen grab this entire thing like that. Now it's saved it. So see, it's saved into my Evernote. So I'm just gonna click save. And it just popped into my Evernote right here. And it's right there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click. <laughs> this is hard to do with one hand, I need a I need some tech, I need some, I need an assistant here. I'm gonna right click and then say open with. And I'm gonna open it with Photoshop. And what's gonna happen is, bam, there it is. It's now a PNG in my Photoshop. And what I'm gonna do, yeah, I mean, there's no wrong way to do it. Like, I don't, I don't wanna mess up your system. If you have a different way that you're doing it that works for you, by all means. But I'm gonna show it to everybody in case you wanna use my system. I'm like, I'm the queen of, I'm the queen of figuring out how to do something and then figuring out how to do it better and then figuring out how to do it faster. <laughs> Come, oh, okay, that's a good way to do it as well. I love Evernote. Evernote is like my BFF. <laughs> I don't know what I would do without it. Well, I've had it for a long time and now I'm just figuring out better ways to use it and use it in my business, right? Okay, so now that I have the PNG file and I have my template, my thumbnail template that I always use, this, Kelly, this stream is about how to create a custom thumbnail for your YouTube videos. So you kind of jumped in and in between, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting right to it. Okay, so this is my, my thumbnail template that I use. And what I do is I just import a new image and go by the, how to effectively use Evernote. Oh, dude, I gotta follow you because I need, to, I love stuff. I love organization. I love stuff. I am a sucker for organization and systems over and over and over again. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring this closer to here so I can have all this stuff together. 
I'm gonna clean up the back of the screen a little bit so you guys aren't distracted. Awesome, oh, there you go again. Okay, perfect, um, I gotta follow you. Follow. Close down that. Okay, so this is a little bit cleaner. So there's my PNG, which is now a, a uh, excuse me, now an image in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this image here like this, because I need the little, that guy, and just drop it in there. Did you guys see what I did? Let me do it again, because I did it really quick. I'm gonna take this image here, just grab it and drop it into here. Bam, you see it, it's there, I just need to fix it. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get rid of this, I'm gonna delete this image. Thank you, that's gone. So now it's easier to see the image that I just dropped in. This isn't a periscope, so when I have periscopes, I put the little periscope on that. My videos on YouTube are all about DIY video production, how to um, get over your fears of being vulnerable, visible, um, how to do things on YouTube. I do all DIY video productions. My site is hollygstudios.com. You can find me actually everywhere, Holly G Studios. So now what I'm doing, so I have this here, it's like a little periscope thing. I'm just gonna take that off and now it's gone from the corner. Now I'm gonna grab that layer, center it in here, and just expand it so that it is the whole screen, right? And now obviously it's not, the title of my thing is not, you scoped now what, right? Catch is working great for me, I'm loving it. And for those of you who are interested in learning more about Catch, I put together a little hostess gift for my scope yesterday, and you can find that at hollygstudios.com slash catch. So I need to edit this text, right? Because this the, the name of this video is unsubscribes, who cares? Because unsubscribes, who cares? Oh, I'm also gonna change the transparency of this. So I'm gonna change the op opacity from 100 down to 70. And what that does is it just takes it from looking like that down to that, which kind of gives all my videos that same, that same look. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and edit the text that's in there. Awesome. I'm glad this is, is this resonating? Is this helping? Is this clearing some things up? Let me get some hearts and let me know. All right, cool. So I just need both hands to do this, so I apologize that I put you guys back. It's hard to do. Um... Hey, Brian, nice to see you here. Great, awesome, I'm glad you're enjoying it. So what I did was, it's, I need a, Brian, I need to go grab that tripod for real um, because I can't use both my hands on my keyboard shortcuts and do this at the same time. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did. So all I did was I, I went in and now I'm editing the text portion of this. So it pops up like this. So it looks like this when it's on the thumbnail, but when I edit it, it pops up like this. So exactly, I do, I need the, the Joby. So now I'm just going to go ahead and it's catch with a K, hollygstudios.com slash catch with a K. So the name of the video is gonna be unsubscribes, unsubscribe, unsubscribe, who cares? All right, nice, thanks for being here. Unsubscribes, unsubscribers, so obviously I'm gonna to have to change the font size because that doesn't fit. So I'm just gonna go up here, go up here to the font size and just drop it down. Let's drop it down to about 36. I hope that's too small, that looks silly. So now it's just a matter of tweaking it to get it right. Unsubscribers, who cares? So now I'm just gonna command S to save that. 
it's saving and then what's going to happen is it's going to change right here and then I'll see how it pops up there. Sometimes I need to adjust it a little bit up or down. I am doing this in Photoshop. I don't use Illustrator because I don't know how to use it and I don't have time to learn a new program right now. So I like to stick with the things that I know. Unsubscribers, did I spell that right? U-N-S-U-S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E-R-S, -S -E -E yes. Unsubscribers, who cares? Kelly, what was your question? Happy to answer your question, I just didn't see it. <laughs> Do you, yeah. Do you ever help small channels with things like this personally or no? Absolutely. I have one-on-one -on -one services. You can find them on my website. And I work with you one-on-one -on -one to really help you clarify what your video goals are, how you want to use video in your business, and then teach you how to do that in the most effective way possible. All right, so that's what, that's what this looks like now. Are they free or no? I have definitely tons and tons of free tutorials, video blogs, and all sorts of stuff like that. But if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, that is not gratis. That... Um, I have all my pricing and all my information on my website. You can find that at hollygstudios.com slash, um, or you can just go to the main page and click on work with me. So that's what the new thumbnail is going to look like. So now I'm just going to go file, save as. I am running a free video blog party right now. If you're interested in learning how to get started, look natural and overcome your fears of the camera. And you can find that at hollygstudios.com slash video block party. It's a free seven day video challenge where you get to join in a group and, and work with tons of other people as well. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and save this. Morning, Ryan, welcome back. Okay, so now I'm gonna save my thumbnail and then it's gonna be good to go and I can upload that to Unsub. Scrubs, who cares? Awesome, yeah, come on over. And I want to save this as a PNG or a JPEG file. Probably just JPEG because it doesn't, there's no white in the back, so it doesn't matter. So I'm saving that as a JPEG file, and what I'm gonna do is now that it's saved, I'm going to upload it to the video that I uploaded this morning on my YouTube account. So then I have a custom thumbnail that goes out when I hit publish. So I'm gonna bring you through and show you the next part of this process. Hi from the UK. So now that I've created my custom thumbnail, I am still in my upload screen here. And like I said, again, we don't wanna rely on the YouTube, I mean, thumbnail roulette by picking, choosing one of these. We wanna to go to the custom thumbnail. And then I'm gonna find my custom thumbnail. Thanks for being here, guys. I hope that you're enjoying this content. Give me one sec while I find my custom thumbnail. All right, and there it is. So it's right there. So I'm gonna just select that, click open. And it's going to appear right here any second now. Once it appears there, then it'll appear here. There you go. So there it is. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and click saving. Then I'm gonna click publish and there we go. So now I have